yellow, our yellow lab. Now you might be intrigued as far as why we have a dog here on our track, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. We actually find though, that as Willow makes her way down our track, that they actually tend to run faster, the louder you cheer. So let's give it up for Willow! in 12 seconds. We'll tell you, Bayati does it quite a bit faster. Now, Ashley, being our release trainer, is going to be communicating via some crucial hand signals. Arm up means that in... Everyone, enjoy Bayati's run. I'm down. Oh my God. The cheetah just ran our 100 meter track in 5.7 seconds. Now, pretty incredible speed, we'll tell you. A cheetah pursuit out in Africa wouldn't actually last much longer than what you just experienced. Anywhere a cheetah may pursue their prey on average between 20 and 30 seconds. Because if they push it any longer to potentially a minute, they could actually reach heat exhaustion and overexertion. Now, the care and welfare of our animals here at the Safari Park is a priority for us. So we're taking this time to ensure that Bayati here has not overexerted herself after that run here. Again, a wonderful run at that. And our trainers are gonna be using this critical time actually to make those decisions as far as what their training plans are for the remainder of our program. So stick around. Uh, it looks like she will be walking the track too as well. So take this opportunity to get some slow motion photos if you guys were not successful during her main run here as well. And in the meantime, we'll talk to you a little bit more about conservation. Now here at the Safari Park, we are a conservation-based organization where the conservation of endangered and threatened species around the world is a priority for us as well. Now, our goal is to lead the fight to end extinction one species at a time. So here we get the opportunity to celebrate all of those animals that maybe need a little bit more awareness. Now the cheetah is definitely one of them because they are in a race more than just for speed. They're actually in a race for survival. Now the cheetah population today is around six to 7,000 cheetahs on our planet. Now it might not sound like a very small number, but on average, just 100 years ago, there used to actually be 100,000 cheetahs that span the entire continent of Africa and even into parts of Asia. A very large dog is more than enough to scare a cheetah from being caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now as a thank you for sticking around and listening to our conservation talk, we'll tell you, it's always a good sign to see Willow make her way down our track a second time. Because for those of you that stuck around, stay, because you are about to see a second run from Bayati. How to run, everyone, enjoy. is much more exciting. Of course, our trainers are going to use this opportunity to uh, give her a chance to choose to trade that toy for, of course, something that is designed for her to eat, as she has done now very, very well. We'll tell you. How many of you guys think she came in a little bit slower this time? No one. And everyone thinks she went faster? She came in 
at Fives for Wildlife because you're helping us protect species like the cheetah from disappearing from our planet. Now, by joining us today, you are supporting our wildlife conservancy, but if you are looking for more opportunities to give back to conservation each and every day, I encourage you to visit our website, endextinction.org, to learn more about how you can support our conservation efforts even after you leave us today. Now, we want to thank you again for joining us at Cheetah Run and getting the opportunity to see Bayati and Willow in action. We 